Hi anyone, and welcome to the next episode of Minecraft on the Eons SMP. Where we've been working on this ancient Egyptian city, which is right now just our animal farms. <laughs> so that everything here is in pertains to animals. So this is the animal district. We have our stables, which are really cool. Then we have each of our sheep, sheep, sheep shells, sheep shells, which are the different colors and they're color coordinated. So I've been able to get a bunch of wool so far, and I'm going to be using that later in the episode. Then we also have a few of these houses which break up the city into different like portions so it, it doesn't feel like it's all the same stuff. As well as we have a cow farm which is a little bit overflowing so it might be time to do some choppy choppy but um, that's not a big deal. But yeah that was last episode we did a lot of building and then today I have a few plans. I want to add to the agriculture which is where we started adding this street from today with the... Uh, oh, I meant. Yeah, we added this street today and this is where the agriculture district is going to be added. So I'm thinking it's going to just be not necessarily a bunch of buildings like this, but it, it might have a few a few buildings in the district, but nothing compared to the amount here. But it's going to be rather large buildings instead. So right now our agriculture is doing its job. It, it works enough just to breed the cows up and get enough meat for me and whoever else needs it. Um, at, like at the time but uh we i want to have more to have a bunch of hay bales because right now it's kind of we're lacking in that supply um i do have a few in the cow barn just to hold me over for feeding them i just kind of bring it over there but not not too many enough to like decorate and stuff i want to have it for decorations as well as just to have backlog you know and just to have so i need to like make this somewhat semi-automatic in we could do that in this ancient era by using trap doors because trap doors can like hold water and then when you flip the trap door it will spread the water out and will spread it all across to all the, the farmland and it will uh, break the crops and then we can just re have to replant the crops rather than have to break the crops as well so it's one less step <laughs> I, I think that'd be cool but how can we get redstone because right now we're in the ancient era and we don't know what, how, what redstone is but we can kind of hack the system because in the stone age there is a way of getting redstone which it there is a very rare chance that it spawns in near lava lakes at the, the y, very low y level so if we go there and then if since we only have like stone these are bronze but they they're actually stone pickaxes and stuff we can't mine um redstone so we need to have a creeper blow up the redstone and then we're going to be able to use it for our farm. So I think it's time we actually go back to the Stone Age and we look for some redstone. To get to the Stone Age, we need to use a portal. And that is located in our portal tower, which is our ancient era like base. This is our starter base, which holds all our items for now. And then if we go up the staircase, we just keep going up when we avoid the Silveria Loring door, which holds more items. Um, we have a portal to the Stone Age. As you see at the bottom, it says Stone Age. And this is our Stone Age base. This is where we started at the eons. This is where uh, everything just kind of came together. We started in this cave, which I'm going to go caving in now to get the redstone. Um, and we have a bunch of Tudor style houses and builds. And then we have this castle, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's, it's a nice, nice barn over here and different things. So, so yeah, we were very limited on the types of blocks that we could use. And I'm really happy with what I was able to make out of it. And we have these cool trees and different things. But yeah, the, this, this is the Stone Age. I'm going to go caving and I'll bring you in if there's anything cool. And I'll show you the results of me getting the redstone. Hey, y'all. Fishies. All right, we got to go low. This is low. We got iron. Ah, 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 I heard you. Ah, <laughs> loser. Fell on some spikes to your death. Yeah. Two three arrows that's not too bad it's not too good either give me that xp i want all the xp ah don't 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 no you're scary ah. why isn't he falling hiya why 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 aren't you being a good no 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 that's unfortunate All right, we're going to go check that out somehow. Okay, so 
So there's blackstone. There's magma. But I don't see redstone. I see iron, which is okay. It's, it's okay. Don't need you. There's smooth basalt, which is fine. I will always take. Redstone! Red, red, redstone! Okay, one piece there. Too much iron. Not enough redstone. Come on. Like, we know it's possible to get what we need now. So that, that's the thing. That's the ticket. We didn't know if it was possible before. So, at least that's a positive. More redstone. Right near them. Right, 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 right. Right near each other. Yes. Yes. More redstone. This is what's left of the lava pit that we found. And I found three pieces of redstone in total, which isn't great. But I, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of it once I blow it up with the creepers. But I, I got to fill in these lava pits, make it all dark in here. And then I think I found a little bit of a cave over this way, which we can make dark and hope that we get some spawns of creepers and stuff. Maybe we'll just look for where that is, wherever those spiders are. I think they're right above me. Um, but um, we just need to get some creepers and blow up this redstone. I've made it back to the ancient era with my redstone dust and it's a pathetic amount. I only got three dust from three blocks, which I hate. I'm so sad. And uh, I'm going to try and do some trading because that, that's a better way of making things happen. So I spoke with Maz Marazu and he is willing to give me three more dust, which he already dropped off in here. Boom. That's the three dust that he's willing to give me. Plus. He's going to go find me the other three dust that I need for my farm. And I'm going to give him, uh, I want to give him two stacks of 10 because I feel like that's more worth it. Uh, but he's, he only wants to take one because he thinks that's robbing me, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll decide. Um, I just need to do more iron mining. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know. It, so, uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, so he's going to be searching for the other redstone dust that I need. Then um, I guess we'll figure out what the, the actual deal is once it's all done. Once he's collected the other dust that I need. How did you do that so quickly? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now I feel like you're robbing me, but I'll... I'll... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Take, take it, take I, I it, take I it. I still feel it. like a stack is too much, but okay. No, because I just spent an hour and a half getting three. You, Here, you, you just like quadrupled <laughs> and you didn't even used up the whole tools. I used a stack of copper making <laughs> pickaxes to just mine out the three <laughs> blocks of redstone that I found. That's just crazy. That's why I was like, yeah, I, I mean, take all the tin. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that copper uh, pickaxe was very close. It was getting me like, if I didn't get enough redstone from these then i would need to go back and get another one but i got two and four. Oh my goodness that is amazing <laughs> i got very lucky well thank you so much with, what, what are you going to do with the redstone uh you know just the simple uh crop farm. Auto, yeah yeah well you should have enough redstone now i do i do thank you so much Ah, <laughs> saves you a lot of time. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but whatever. <laughs> I, honestly, I just like went down to like the lowest point near your uh, exit. Then I found like a tunnel. I then followed the end, and I just dug down until it was like like bedrock. 
Then I looked for lava pools, and then I found redstone. Yeah, that's what I did, but lava pools. I, I uh, didn't find that many redstone. I found three blocks, and then, and then I, I got mean, unlucky, I, I, I guess. I found two ore. I found two ore. <laughs> you got lucky with it, I guess. Yeah. Now that I have the redstone, I have everything I need to make the function of this farm. So let's get building. Our crop field is done and it works flawlessly pretty much. Well, I haven't really run it with the, the wheat and seeds in yet, so we don't know that for sure. But how it works is you press the button, it lights up the redstone, which will flash these trap doors, not these ones. Uh, these are just kind of aesthetic, just so it's not so big and bulky. Um, but these ones down here will flip and that will send the water along and then it will push along the seven blocks but since it goes eight blocks the water it goes down one and then pushes another eight blocks down one down one and it keeps going all the way to here which is just eight blocks and th the items will all just stop at the end here so that's how it works and i'm just gonna wait for these crops to grow and i'll be right back with you and then demonstrate the the flooding our fields of wheat are ready and while i was waiting all i did was clean up the crops from underneath because they weren't going to be doing any good for growing because they're going to be blocked by the sun or by this from the sun so all we have to do is press the button and then it's going to flood the system and all the crops are going to end up at the end so let's no more further waiting in three two one lift off there we go and then it all gets sent along no ricardo oh he's fine uh but yeah all the wheat and seeds and everything goes to the end it, a little bit might fly off, but there's going to be a floor right there, so it's fine. It's going to get caught. Um, let's see how much we got. Oh, too much. Too much. Too much seeds. Uh, there's more wheat down there. That's important. Okay. Ooh. It's a good amount. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five stacks of wheat, basically. It's pretty good. That's way better than one stack. I've replanted and now it's time to actually build a building around this thing because it, it needs a roof, first of all. And second of all, it's kind of ugly just floating here in the sky. So it, it needs to be connected to the ground and supported by an actual building. So uh, let's get to building. Look at our foundation. It's not floating anymore. Well, the, the right side's floating, but the left side is no longer floating, which is awesome. I love I love some seeing progress get done. And we have a walkway all the way around the build or the farm, which gives us like a, enough space. It's three wide. That's pretty good. And then I added a semicircle where we could add some storage and I just added these shelves. So it's nothing special. It's just uh, trap doors along the side. And then I use slabs instead of trap doors on the bottom. Just to give it a little more thickness, because they're individual shelves. Um, yeah, th this is all the stuff that we can farm in this crop field. 
mostly I want to get wheat. Um, so I'm ma mainly getting um, hay bales. I haven't crafted much bread out of it. But we could also craft golden items or we can farm golden items from the farm. So we could get golden carrots normally. And we could get golden potatoes as well as the golden beetroots, which I don't have any of in here, which is just, I only have the one. Um, and we could craft golden bread by crafting nine, I think nine, yeah, nine uh, normal bread. And then we just use that, those nine, like, and basically make a block of bread and we get golden bread. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So that's the farm. That's the storage. And uh, since we're in the ancient era, we don't need like bulk storage. We're not going to go much past this amount of stuff, I think. Uh, the most bulk we'll do is with this barrel of uh, hay bales. That's a, it, that's crafted down. And then maybe, maybe we'll turn this into bone blocks. But basically all the extra seeds, we're going to compost and then turn that into bone meal. What else? What else? What else? I think it's just time to start adding the roof. Where I'm like, as you might notice, these walls have pillars or are going to have pillars going up. So it's going to be very wide open and breezeway like so we can see the open world and the open world can see inside. And then the roof, we're going to have it be the same color scheme as we've been using with the orange and the blue, like the blue terracotta, glazed terracotta and the lapis. So it's going to be expensive, but um, it's worth it. I think I think the prettiness is always worth its time in mining. Um, and I haven't shaded the build yet. I don't know exactly what I want to do for shading. So uh, I'm going to finish the build it all in sandstone and then maybe I'll come back and do the shading another time. But that that's just something I, I kind of like to do in my free time over anything, because it's it's nice to get just get shapes good over color. Um, but that's just my brain. Um, I think it's time to just finish the left side. I'm going to finish the left side for today and then we're going to leave the right side of the build for another time because I'm running out of time. I'm going on vacation. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's build. This side of the farming district is done and I'm really happy with the result that we got. If we come up here, we can see that the roof, it covers everything pretty well, except for the holes, which gives us natural light so that the light will come in shining from the sun and it will grow our plants even stronger. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much the idea I had because we have plenty of light because we have these lights. Oh yeah, oh, these, li these lights are good. Um, but... They, they, I wanted them to have some sort of natural light. When you look up, it, you still see the sky. So we're using the trapdoors. So it is a little expensive, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's Minecraft. You got to do your farming. Um, and then what else? Um, I, I do like that we're bringing in the colors from the other parts of the the city. Uh, the blues, the glazed terracotta, the lapis, and the orange. So those are the like the color themes for this like city build. So anything that's not like a home or anything. Uh, if it's a government building, basically, it's going to have that that theme. Uh, and I, I really like the, the, the acacia as well as the, those colors that were picked with the sandstone colors. So I might actually come in here and do the texturing. Mainly would be the birch going in, but this burnt down earlier and I had to rebuild all the wood parts. So like I might just leave it sandstone and just be happy with it. But um, I do prefer the texturized. Uh, what else? I don't think there's anything else. I, I think that's it for today because um, we did a lot of building and it was fun. Uh, but I do have plans for the future. So hopefully the turnaround for the next episode will be pretty quick because I'll probably be back from my vacation by the time this is out. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Uh, uh, bye. -bye. Uh, love you guys. Th thanks for watching. Watch something else. Um, go. Go. But take care of yourself. Bye.